In this video, I'll be making a scratch game in one minute versus ten minutes versus one hour. Let's get started. And three, two, one, start. So I have to make a clicker. This should be a circle. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that should be enough. I can't make much. I only have one minute. When this sprite clicked, change my variable by one. Set my variable to zero, and this should be our score, which should be large readout. Yeah, and yeah, I think that is all I can make in one minute. But let's see, we still have time, so we can make a make a better design. I think so. Let's make it black. Okay, done. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, we can only make this one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, yeah, that is all. Now let's make a game in ten minutes. Three, two, one, start. First of all, let's give a entire minute to make a cookie. I wasted another full minute trying to figure out click detection. My own click detection script, by the way. I completely blanked out. Like my brain just had a fresh Windows install. Eventually, I figured it out and made a nice gradient background and added a drop shadow to the cookie because the colors were kinda blending in because they are similar. That actually looked good. But then came the upgrades, and for some reason. I don't know. For some reason, I made each and every icon myself. Even the mouse cursor. Huge mistake. They looked absolutely cursed, bro. I don't even know why I didn't just Google it. Like it's not that hard to find. Took me like two full minutes just designing these preg pregnant aliens or something. Whatever this is. Anyway, here's the result. Let's see what we have created. Why is it rising? Okay, this should be zero. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. so the game is unplayable, I would say. But if we set them to anything, because we haven't set them to anything, if we just add CPC and CPS, CPC to one, and now the game should work. We have ten. I can buy this. Otherwise, I cannot. Otherwise, I cannot. What if I get to sixty? Oh, sorry, fifty. Here we go. I can buy this then, and then it will automatically change every second. But it is changing like every frame. So yeah, it is not. Very great, but yeah, that's all we get in ten minutes after wasting a lot of time on useless things like cursor and like animations and all. But anyway, now let's start with one R version. Okay, so three, two, one, go. This time, I actually used my brain and googled for the assets uh, rather than designing myself. And of course, this time the game looked much better. Anyway, I added a new shop feature, which took me like six minutes to design, and three of those minutes were just me. Thinking my iPhone, which I use as the webcam, you can see it looks really good. Ran out of storage mid recording two times. So after the second time, I just rage switched to my PC webcam, which does not look good. But we have the only option of that. But yeah, at least it works. Also, I made my own sound effects this time. They weren't terrible, but kind of weird. Like, listen to this. I think this is fine. I guess. Anyway, here's the result. I think we are done with the game. And I think this is nice enough for a one-hour version. And let's see how much time we have left. Seven minutes. Okay, that is nice. So I am good at making games quickly. I guess. Now let's see. Yeah, this is working. Yeah, perfect. This is perfect. So I'll be sharing these games, and the project link will be in the description. Yeah, I think I performed really good in this challenge. Like, yeah, the one-minute game was really bad, but the uh, ten-minute game and the one-hour game, at least one-hour game is good. I would say one-hour game, please, guys, please. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm very sorry, my phone is not working, so like I cannot shoot on my phone. But yeah, thank you for watching.